I've been thinking about this a lot um, for a couple of weeks now for many reasons, um, but it's been coming up in my meditation and it did this morning. So I thought it was a sign to share it with you all. And um, it's to do with pain and how pain is constantly cycling throughout the world, whether it is people being hurt or people hurting other people. And um, when I thought about it, I was reflecting on my, my past with pain and how I used to deal with it. And I realized for a long time, I felt that the only way I would heal myself was through hurting the other person back, whether it was in the same way, whether it was um, hurting them even more than they've hurt me. But then I reflected on how I felt after and it didn't help me at all. It didn't benefit me in any way and it did definitely did not make me feel feel better or help me heal. In fact, it probably made me feel worse. And so it made me think of the cycle that we that we go through. Someone hurts us, we then pass that pain back to them or we pass it on to somebody else. But the point is we're holding this negative feeling in our heart. We, we create this negative feeling in our heart. And from creating that, it means it lives in us, which means that it becomes part of us. And um, that really only harms us. It doesn't harm the other person. It doesn't get back at them by us holding this pain within us. And um, it's not about releasing it because if we release it to other people, I think about it like emotional pollution. I always think, I was thinking about, I think about it as emotional pollution. Like how am I recycling what I'm receiving? How am I giving that back into the world? Do I want to give it back in the form of pain? Do I want to um, give that out into the world? Is that my contribution I want to give? Or do I want to find a way to recycle that, to, to convert that into something that is positive in the world? And um, that's difficult. To go through healing is such a difficult process and it takes time and it takes work. But I really do believe that that makes you feel so much better than just having an outburst of pain on somebody else or on the person that's even inflicted pain on us. And when I was thinking about where it stems from, it's definitely from a place of control because when someone hurts you, you feel like they have invaded your privacy. You feel like that they have somehow invaded your space and got past your barriers to actually even be able to harm you or hurt you, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's emotional. And um, the only way to feel you can get control back, you can, you feel like you're back in control is by somehow hurting them or somehow causing pain to them. And I really feel like being able to let go of that concept of control, especially in these situations, allows me to tolerate so much more, allows me to let go of so much more, to release so much more in, in a healthy way. Like I just think of it as a cycle. It's almost like I will absorb that energy and I will take it on and hopefully I am giving it and hopefully that act of me receiving that pain, but converting it into something that's a little bit better, um, and making the world a better place in some way. And we think it's a, it's such a small thing, but imagine we all collectively chose to do that. We chose to receive pain and um, not release it on to other people. So I just wanted to share that because pain is real. Pain is every single day. Pain is being felt constantly and sometimes the energy is extremely overwhelming. We feel it around us constantly. But um, I think it's a really wonderful thing to reflect on and to see it as emotional pollution. And yes, you may not have deserved it. You may feel like you really didn't deserve that. But does that mean the rest of the world deserves to feel the pain with you? That's the question I always ask myself. So um, yeah, sending you all so much love. And if you are going through a lot of pain, I hope you heal and I hope you find ways to move through that. And I guarantee you, I absolutely guarantee you, transforming it into something that's better is going to make you feel far better and help you heal so much faster than giving it back out as pain. Um, and that's me talking from experience. So um, yes, hope you all have such a wonderful day and hope this reflection helps you in some way too.